what is going on you guys it is scorpion reds tarot i am back at it again one time for the one time yes indeed for my lovely lovely taurus what's going on baby thank you so much to everyone who has clicked this video thank you so much for the positive energy that you send this way shout out to everyone who has been sending love and light we got new decks as you are <laughs> listen you guys are a uh, freaking amazing i want to give a shout out to um craft and conjure i want to give a shout out to miss d i want to give out to my baby um cali who is another one of my biggest supporters um we got a deck here mystic murdra um what is this the yoga tarot deck this deck gives you different yoga poses and things like that like this deck is amazing let's see here we have the tortoise pose it says in my heart i know we are all one i rejoice in the abundance of the universe all right so like this deck is amazing um actually when you read the book and you read the stories behind uh the message of the cards it is like very very inspiration inspirational we have um the soul spirit deck i mean the soul journey deck here um and I want to say it was like one more deck that we got. Um, oh, oh, oh. We have the Unicorns playing card deck as well as the Game of Thrones playing card deck. I believe that is new. Um, yeah, and we will be using the Game of Thrones playing card decks today. So shout out to everyone who's been sending love, light, and support to the page. If these videos um, resonate at any time, if you guys want to send some love, um, you can always check my About tab. It has all of the information to connect with me for book and personal private readings. If you guys want to send love and support to the page, my Amazon wish list is there, which you guys sent these decks from. The Amazon wish list as well as the PayPal. Um... Again, um, shout out to uh, Conjure and Craft for, you know, that PayPal love. And thank you guys again for all of the love and support. Um, I really, really appreciate it. If you guys want to book a personal private reading, you can do so by, again, clicking that About tab. The first link that you'll see there is my booking link. It says Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. Again, it says Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. And what you need to do is book and then link up with me. After you book the type of reading that you want, link up with me. You'll see my Instagram link directly under the booking. Just send me a personal and private message to say hey res this is so and so i book with you on this and that a day it is very important that you guys make sure that you send me um communication just confirming that you booked the reading because um i need to know how to contact you and not only that majority of the time whatever day that you guys book on the same day that um I get the communication from you guys. If I can't fit you in, typically I try to get you um, your reading that day. So make sure that you don't wait until the day of your scheduled reading. Contact me the day that you book it because if I can't fit you in that day, I'll make sure that I fit you in that day. Um, if you do not want to get on camera for whatever reason, you don't want to get on camera or you don't have time to get on camera, there's an option in the menu selection. Um, once you book your reading, you can purchase a $10 add-on. Um, and that's for me to do the direct upload to YouTube. So um, if you guys want to direct upload to YouTube, what you do is book your reading, purchase the add-on. And when you communicate with me, just say, hey, Grace, this is so-and-so. I don't want to get on camera, um, but this is what I want to know. So what you would do is just send me the question of, what you want to know pertaining to the type of reading that you book but just send me the question don't tell me the meat and potatoes around why you're asking the question because i want to go into the energy blind and see what spirit has to say and we'll connect on the back end and then we'll discuss and everything like that and go deeper if need be um what else was i about to say if you don't have instagram you can connect with me on Google Hangouts. It's an easy app to download. Only thing you need is yours and my email. So once you download the app, you just use my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. And just send me a message on there. Same thing. Hey, Rez, this is so-and-so. I booked with you on this day. So, um, and I'll connect with you on Google Hangouts and we can do the video chat and or if you um, purchase the add-on, I can record the video and I'll send you your link, your private link to your YouTube um, reading there. Um, you can also use that add-on, you guys. If you guys want me to record the video session, um, if you want me to record the reading that we're having and upload it to YouTube so you can go back and watch it later and, 
as many times as you want to you can also use that add-on for that as well if you want to record your reading okay so um again shout out to everyone um for all the love light and support also if you guys um enjoy the morning slide check out my merch tab all right um i have some morning slide mugs so you know if you want to you know sip your tea with me in the morning go ahead you know and uh you know support support a g and get you a little morning slide mug okay so um anywho let's get on to the reading tours father god thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of tours i thank you so much for the love the light the positive vision we see where we're going in life i really do feel a level of just peace and harmony just hovering over the sign of tours father god we've um accomplished so much we have gone through so much and we are just so proud of ourselves at this present moment father god we are enjoying the summer we are deep in our feet in some pleasant ponds and stuff like that. I just see like Taurus sitting at the pool with their feet just in the water, just basking in the sun, getting a little tan and stuff like that. Uh, thank you so much for this blessed power. We feel empowered. We feel enriched. We feel anointed. We feel blessed, Father God. I thank you so much. We don't fit, you know, the stress that we were dealing with we are transmuted that into positive energy and you know to let let no hoe upset us in the name of Lonnie B okay hold on <laughs> but my baby Lonnie B that let no hoe upset you okay come on Lonnie come on Lonnie shout out to my DC homie Lonnie B shout out to my baby Lonnie B y'all make sure that y'all go and check out my baby Lonnie B if y'all want some morning inspiration all right so Father God, thank you for just holding us and just keeping us sane, steady, and stable. Father God, give us guidance for the month of August 2019. Thank you so much for all the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. Continue to uphold us and keep us lifted, you know, above the BS, Father God. Because I promise you, like, it's the God in me. Hey, it's the God in me. They think we so fresh. They think they so clean. Listen, but they don't see... They don't see. What is it that you see when you see me? You don't know how much I pray. Do you understand? Tell them, Taurus. You don't know how much I pray. What is it that you see when you see me? When you see the clothes, you see that I keep myself wet. What, what do you see? Do you think I don't go through struggle? It's the God and me. God been pulling us through. Tell them, Taurus. Father God, give us guidance for my babies. Give me guidance for my babies in the Mercedes driving these niggas crazy. Come on, Taurus. Come on. He said, uh-uh, you will not ignore us. Come on, Taurus. They said, no, no, no. You will not ignore us. Not today. Hey, baby. Not if I got to say, baby. Give me guidance for my tours for August, Father God. Thank you so much for. Ooh, come on now. Ooh, the carnivorous flower fairy. You guys, be careful. Uh, oh my God. Who do you have around you, baby? Now, I have to read this whole card to y'all. So I promise I'm going to try my best. And I had no third grade education reading going on today. But you guys are in danger. You have someone that's around you that is literally trying to eat off of you. And, you know, that is quite tempting. It's a temptation to you. And don't be fooled by the glitz and glamour and the promises and all of, like I say, the lustful temptations. Because the closer and closer you get to it. It's going to be hard for you to get away. And it's going literally, its purpose is to devour you. So I want you to be careful of the people that you are allowing in your energy, Taurus. You are beautiful and you are strong. And I believe that you know better than this. Okay? Mm-hmm. When someone show you who they are, believe them the first time. Let's get into this. It says, attempting offer has a high price. Lord, 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 oh my goodness, oh my goodness, let's read, let's read, and we shall achieve, let's read. Mm, mm, mm. It says the carnivorous flower, pay attention, when this card shows up in the reading, look carefully at someone or a situation around you. Her beauty tempts people in, but the purpose of the flower is to devour, making it difficult to escape unharmed. 
You may be told such situations are wonderful agents of change and growth, but the truth is that you do not need to learn this lesson again, okay? This plant is of beauty, yet faintly masked, okay? Image represents someone or something that is attractive yet dangerous. There is a being who may want to feed off of your energy or even eat you alive. Watch for people who consume more than they can actually give. People who bully and swallow others. Who argue. Hmm. Who argue you down and out of your beliefs. Who ignore you or constantly seek your approval and praise. And, and then grow hostile when you no longer give it. If you are appeasing another instead of having an equal relationship, or if you are fearful of being consumed by an environment that is toxic yet seductive, it may be that carnivorous flower fairy that has come forth to show you clearly what you need to avoid. The carnivorous flower fairy speaks. I'm not beautiful. Wouldn't you like to come closer? I am sure you will appreciate my beauty. Once you are able to see me properly. And no, of course, I will not hurt you. I am just, after all, a girl. I may look innocent. And I may hold up a bouquet of flowers. Okay? And I am. But my nature is to devour, as is theirs. And so, before you decide to step closer to me and work with this energy, know that you may be meeting a dream eater, one who consumes, who takes, and who delights in watching the predatory actions of others, who dominates, controls, criticizes, and judges. I will eat what I can. I will eat what comes near me. It is my nature. And although some may promise they will not, it is their nature to do such things. It is inevitable that they will do just so. Don't forget who they are and don't try to make them what they are not or change or try to save them with your love. They will eat you and delight in doing so. The true message of this card. You may observe someone speaking cruelly about others, sending out toxic energy, seemingly to feel entitled to money, fame, life force, and attention, but may be unable to create their own. They treat themselves rather like royalty as if others are servants who purpose is merely to fulfill their wishes. They can be charming and cunning because they do want you to do something for them. They spend much of their time feeding off of others, and if you deny them this, they become very angry. Narcissistic. They see you as a source for them, as a way of them getting something. This is sad, but even sadder is if you allow yourself to be their victim. This can indicate either a person or a workplace or a belief system that is demanding, all-consuming, or almost cult-like in its practices and ethics. Whatever or whomever the carnivorous flower fairy represents to you it is a dangerous alliance to contemplate. Do not get too close. Observe and learn if you must. Do not become an experiment. They will bite you. They will try to take from you. It is their very nature. Hmm. Did that just shake y'all bones? Did that just shake your bones? And you know exactly who this is, do you not? You know exactly who this is. They come off real harmless. Like, yeah, they coming back. This is someone you've seen the nature of their energy before, have you not? This tempting offer has a very high price. Everything may not be all what they seem. And baby girl, this is not a dream. This person is... <laughs> You better watch out. Y'all excuse my kids downstairs in the back. Give me guidance about this card in the versus flower fairy. The queen of spears. The six is okay. This is someone who feeds off of attention. You guys may be dealing with 
uh, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius woman. Four coins. Page of coins. The Five of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the King, the Queen of Coins, and the Five of Spears. All right. So, um, hmm. You know what? <laughs> Come on, Taurus. I think you're way smarter than this, baby. You're way smarter than this. And I see you. I see you. And you see fucking them and you're holding yourself the fuck back because you like god throwing me a way better blessing bitch i done been around your type before i already know this is a lose lose battle i ain't even giving you an opportunity to come around me with the fuck shit bitch queen of motherfucking wands out this bitch do you hear me the queen of spears she's sexy she's tantalizing honey she's vivacious she's the most beautiful woman that you ever seen in your motherfucking life she is action oriented she the one to go out there and get it she'll wait for nobody to bring it to her she'll go out there and go get the bacon her motherfucking self okay yeah she the type of broad there if some shit got the popping off she the queen but she gonna go down there and fight with her king you better know it you better know it. Do you understand what I'm saying? And she ain't here. She ain't never came around to play. Ain't never come around to play. But she is better. So she's funny. She's energetic. Like I told you, she is loved by all. She is loved by many. As you can see, she is loved by many. And she gets a lot of gratification and a lot of attention. Do you understand? And there is someone in her energy. Do you understand? That wants to feed off of this attention and this energy they want this gratification they want your lifestyle your luxury and it's something about you Taurus that you have achieved a lot and if this is somebody that has been around you before and they're trying to sneak back around you offering you this tempting gift that looks so innocent does it not Oh, but you better not trust it. You better not trust it. Because this one is coming to feed off of you. And I think that you know it. He said, I ain't get this successful by being a dumb bitch. <laughs> no me, bitch. No me. You better show me the money. Honey, I don't give to nobody easily. I'm like, I'm like, look, I'm like an armored truck ride around this bitch. You see me. Oh, honey, when I ride around, I'm protected. I'm respected. Okay? Alright. Okay. I am reloading. Load up the gas. Now listen to me. I don't really know what it is exactly this person is coming around for, but I can tell you what Taurus is doing. Taurus is holding on to every freaking dollar, dime, cent, every moment of energy. Pinnacles represents energy as well. Represents time represents attention attention this person is coming around to the queen seeking attention and favor why should i give it to you <laughs> i haven't seen someone like you in a long time oh you're looking for me to throw you throw you a sense you need favor you need rescue do you need help this is someone that you haven't seen in quite a long time. And baby, let me tell you something. You have grown immensely since then. It doesn't look like they've grown at all. Doesn't look like they've grown at all. Honey, I've grown strong, tall, and basically successful without you. So what is it that you want, sir? Oh, I was just coming around and see, you know, if everything was all good, if we can go back to the planning board, like, you know, start all over and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just want to see, like, you know what I'm saying? If you just throw me a little something, you know, shit. I ain't seen you in a minute. You know what I'm saying? I know you good for it. You know what I'm saying? I just need a little bit of help. Huh. You're coming to me asking me for a favor. Huh. You're coming to me asking me 
for attention. Huh. You're coming to the queen. Now, huh. let me think about this. This is interesting. This is interesting. So the last time I was around you, my dear, huh, you were being treacherous. You were being deceitful. You were being manipulative. You are a liar, a con artist. You like to play a lot of fucking mind games. You are fucking attention whore. You feed off of attention and you like to feed off of individuals looking for high honor but you don't respect nobody and you don't give it back you come around here looking like this don't come around here offering and asking for nothing more than what you can give back in return the last time i was around you baby it was a double-edged sword for me the more and more and more i tried to work things out with you and i tried to use all my resources and try to communicate you ain't do nothing but fucking stab me more and more so it was a double-edged sword every time i came near you i was i was Walking into my own demise without my own knowing. <laughs> so now you come back looking the same as you did last time. <laughs> I've grown I've grown into a queen, baby. I need a king, baby. I don't need a page. <laughs> I don't need a page. So you want to come back and negotiate. You want to come back and you want to come to some type of compromise, some type of reconcile. You want to agree to disagree on certain things and just kind of let bygones be bygones. Well, guess what? <clears throat> guess what? We can let bygones be bygones. But I want you to get the fuck away from me. Because there ain't going to be no new beginnings. There ain't going to be no takeoff. Okay? <laughs> there ain't gonna be no takeoff. There ain't gonna be no rocket ship romance here. There ain't gonna be no you coming around. See, because this could also be someone, listen, wanting to throw you, wanting to throw you sexual favors. Wanting to throw you se uh, sexual favors to kind of like diffuse this battle. They want to start all over again with a little sexual favors. They just want to throw you a little something. Like, no, honey. I don't want your sex. I don't want your sex. I don't want you at all. I'm sitting right here, real nice, real comfortable, queen of pentacles. My money, listen, my money is going to advance into old money. Sitting beneath new money. New money. Baby, I plant seeds and they grow royally. I don't have time for you. I don't have time for you. Mm -mm. I compete with no one. I am the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. All wrapped in one, baby. All wrapped in one. You seen how I grew. Hmm. It's a shame. Guards, take him away. Get him out of my face. Before I feed him to my dogs. Thank you. Hmm. You think that you were coming around here? to feed off of me really you thought that I was going to allow that again I ain't that little girl that you was dealing with a couple of years back bitch check me load up the gas I'm reloading and I ain't even got to get all excited for you because like Taurus got me in a real calm ass goddamn temper because I compete with no fucking one I don't have to raise my voice and I damn sure don't have to raise my temper and I motherfucking sure ain't about to raise about my seat because bitch you don't want me to raise about my seat guards take him away okay I am highly respected around here you right I get a lot of attention I get a lot of respect I get a lot of praise because I'm a good person I work hard and I respect others you don't respect no fucking body <laughs> wanna come over here and wanna feed off a of Taurus <laughs> and it's like this person they see that you got money they see that you successful they see that you good they see that you good they coming back begging and want favor because they really really it's something going on in their life where they need you they need your help they need to feed off of you because this is something 
which is stability, clearly. They can't provide it on their own. They're coming back about money. It ain't about love. I don't see love here at all. I don't see love here at motherfucking all. Only thing I see is someone being manipulative yet again with that five of swords in the reverse and that five of spirits in the reverse. There's other people around. There's other competition around. It's the same old conflict. It's the same bullshit. And Taurus is avoiding it at all costs. I don't have to deal with you. You peasant. And you're right. I don't even mean, listen, I don't mean to take it down like that. And if it's a cross watch, I'm not being disrespectful to you. But this is, the, I'm, I'm trying to tell you. This is how Taurus feels. You peasants. Fuck out of here. Give me guidance. The Queen of Hearts. Listen, Melisandre. Mela fucking Sandra out this bitch, okay? Listen. The two of diamonds. What do you have to say? What type of negotiation? Like what is like what? What what you see how she looking at him? Like listen. You want my love, you want my attention, you want my affection, you want my nurturing. And you coming around here what trying to give me gifts and what trying to use fancy words and what you what, what you don't read a couple self-help books to come around here and, and make it seem like you highly educated like you know what the fuck you talking about the the fuck out of here you see how she looking at him nigga please the fuck please please joker the fuck you think i'm a fool you think i you think i'm that stupid to go back through this battle with you again and end up bruised and battered you want me to end up like a one all them bitter bitches that you left a trail of bitter bitches behind? Yeah, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. Tor <laughs> fuck out of here. Give me guidance about this ace of spirits in reverse. Give me guidance. The three, listen, I told you it was a third party. Didn't I tell you? It was of a competition lurking around in the background. Tor said, I think not. I've already seen your makings before. I know your kind. You're not allowed in my court. Fuck out of here. You want me to work things out with you? You want that this is someone wanting to invest in. They want to go into partnership with you in business. Like I said, this is not a love situation. This is about business. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is about work. Okay? That can produce pinnacles. That can produce finances so this person like i said is coming it's all about the money it's all about security for them it's not about love it's not about love they want to live up under your favor like if you have a certain amount of pull in your area like if you are well known and like you can just walk into any club you can walk into any restaurant like if being attached to you being seen with you if that helps them socially and like a social group or something like that. That's what this is about. This is about a social a, a, a equitable climb. But it has to do with three parties. There's someone else there. Fuck out of here. I don't think so. It ain't going nowhere. You think I'm stupid. I'm not. And I don't need nothing from you at all. You need me, bitch. The two of hearts. The two of hearts. Okay? This person still has two people in their energy and I know that they're going to try to calm and they're going to try to be real chivalrous and it's going to seem like y'all have a second chance at love and it's like a kind of, you know, they're going to rub it on real thick but there's two different individuals in here that this person is attached to. They're trying to attach themselves to you but there's someone else as well. It's something about, listen, this six, this is you like literally disassociate in any type of business involvement with this person because there's too many people involved here this is a complete change in circumstances in regards to how you work with this person you know what i'm saying this can be you closing down your commitment in, in working with this with these type of individuals because it's too much going on it's too many hands in the pot do you understand what i'm saying let's 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 you already know the Queen of Hearts. I don't have to explain it to you. The Two of Diamonds. 
intellectual exchanges, financial partnerships, a small money card, a payment made or received, a written correspondence, financial news, a statement of bill, insurance paper, written report, independence, fertile imagination, <laughs> writer, journalist. Financial help or loan, the stomach, the food, the kitchen. Didn't I tell you that this person needed help? Didn't I tell you that this person is going to try to come back? It's going to try to, you know, come back with small favors, want to try to talk really nice and sound real real intellectual, sending you, you know, might even come back and give you like a small gift. You know what I'm saying? That's just like, um, you accepting a cigarette from someone when you first get into prison or something. And so you don't accept nobody, don't accept nothing from nobody in jail. You know what I'm saying? Don't accept nothing from nobody in, in jail. This is the Joker card. This is the fool. This is a showing lack of faith. You understand? Lack of faith. You do not trust this situation. Intuitively, your intuition is guiding you to go the opposite direction because you're walking into harm's way. Do you understand? You don't have any faith in that journey. Let's get into the three of clubs here. The three of clubs. Practical development in business and social matters. Expanding opportunities, growth, advancement, using common sense and good judgment. A development of business enterprise or a three-way deal partnership. Business collaboration of three or more people, a clover leaf, good luck, fortunate circumstances, something growing, plants, hair, nails, increased understanding or expanding one's knowledge based on learning new things. It can represent both formal training and self edit I can't say it, whatever. Anyway, like I said, it's a collaboration in business. It ain't about matters of the heart. It ain't about matters of the heart. There's still two matters involved. Like I told, there's two two hearts involved. I'm trying to tell you, like this person is in love with you, but they're also in love with someone else. But their love doesn't run that deep with you. It's about what they can get out of the situation. The two of hearts, love, affection, emotion, child, pregnancy, expectancy, a pet, emotional examination, emotional excitement, talent, artistic ability love exchanges love letter good news all right so hmm this could be someone that you're expecting by because i could have sworn in the past taurus was expecting a baby i've my memory serves me correct some of you tauruses are expecting a baby or were pregnant Huh. But like I said, this person, if you guys are pregnant, if you guys are pregnant, they're using that to try to wield their way back. There's someone else. Do you understand? Things are not working out well with them. They're impoverished. They need help. They may be homeless. That person that they will with probably put them out. They're expecting a baby by you as well. Or you already have children with them. And they are trying to use that as a form of leverage. To try to come back in and feed all for you. But you are smarter than that. The six of clubs. Traditionally a card of movement, progress, and completion. And business or social matters. An opportunity to resolve a problem, taking responsibility for a problem or a situation and doing whatever is necessary to assure its success. Communication, sharing one's thoughts and ideas, negotiation, banter, talk, forms of communication, including hand gestures and body language. Honey, you like, listen, I don't do you. I don't do you at all. Check that. All right. The media. Written word. Good counsel. Trusted advice. Knowledge. Reading. Study. And learning. <laughs> Excuse me. Hold on, you guys. Okay. So, like I said, you have already seen the nature of this beast. 
you already know not to come close and not to entertain this fool. You've learned this already. You know that this person comes with a lot of conflict. You know that this person comes with competition, mayhem, and bullshit. And you shall not, and you will not entertain it. You know no good faith will come out of it. And you know that this tempting offer, again, has an extremely high cost. And if it ain't about love, what the fuck am I talking to you about, period? This ain't a business transaction. This person is treating you like a business trans fucking action and you already know better come on let's get them together Taurus because we already listen Taurus you will not ignore us you gonna hear us today Taurus tell them you will not ignore us you gonna hear me to motherfucking day bitch let me get some straightening together on this motherfucking type come on Taurus give me some guidance come on give me some guidance on this joker the journal like I told you, you already know, look, the journal, the letter, the whip. You already studied this person. You already know everything that there is. <laughs> you already know about this hidden person. You already know that this person is coming to you with a whole bunch of motherfucking chaos. The whip. And you are going to communicate with them. So y'all, yeah, I don't know who the fuck you think you playing with, but I already know. Everything that you're trying to hide from me. Okay? So, I'm sorry to disturb you. Okay? It does. Your offer is extremely tempting. Yes, because you are very seductive. I know. Listen. When, listen. I get it. <clears throat> but I get it. Get it. No, no, no. Listen to me. We get it. Get it. Okay, we know that your sex is good. We all that, but we also know that there ain't no mystery that you ain't shit as well. So let me communicate with you before I have to whoop your ass. Get the fuck out my fucking face and do not come around here with this bullshit again. I ain't no fucking business transaction. You don't love me. I don't love you. End of story. Get the fuck on. The hell? The fucking hell? Hell, I'm sorry. No. What is this? Yeah, this gentleman. This person could be light skinned. Extremely light skinned. If not Caucasian, the grave. Death. The end. The absolute end. R.I.P. Listen. Oh, light red bone. <laughs> red bone. Hey, you, red bone. Yeah. She ain't even gonna say it to your face. She gonna send you a message, okay? And she might do that shit on social media. It's probably gonna be a goddamn social media blast. It may be a blast on the media. You may get your ass whooped online in front of everybody and look right under the deck. It's the snake. You're a snake. You're a snake. This person just wants back in your house. This person needs stability, baby. This person needs stability. That's why they're communicating with you. That is why they're communicating with you. Don't ever get it fucked up. They're not coming to you with kind gifts, kind gestures, peace and harmony and stuff like that. You may want to look a little bit deeper. There is something behind the way and why they're giving this to you. And why they just showed up at your door. Why I take... Why it ever took you so long to come back around? Or why did you travel so motherfucking star so, so far like that? And you try to make it seem like, oh, no, this was written in the stars. This is faith. You know what I'm saying? We are spiritually divided. We're spiritually connected. And they just going to pop up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They just pop up. This sudden arrival. Like I said, they, listen, don't trust these motherfuckers. Don't. Trust them. The stork. They're using that pregnancy. They are using that pregnancy. You guys are pregnant, baby. Yes, you are. They are using that pregnancy to try to manipulate you. Okay? This represents treachery, deception, manipulation. The whole energy possibly behind the, the, <laughs> the pregnancy could have been so they can try to come back. Watch, motherfucker. I keep trying to tell y'all. 
men will trap you. These low, these home, listen, these hobosexuals, these men that just want to feed off of beautiful women. Yeah. You got to watch them, especially wherever they're like, they're like if y'all got good government jobs or whatever city y'all, these little bum ass niggas, they'll come and hang out around there and try to catch you in a lunch and stuff. Like, listen to me. They will find a beautiful woman with a good government job, a good bank job, a good ass, take good care of herself. These niggas ain't shit. They will come around with that snake energy. They use their, they know that their sex, they use their sex. And, you know, they use that to control people. Do you understand? They're seductive. They are hypnotizing in bed and they use that to control you and if you that baby mama they feel like they could come in and out that door as much as they want to but Taurus ain't stupid they see you exactly for what you are they heard about this other person this card represents gossip this represents the unknowing the hitting someone looking investigating so either the Taurus investigated and they found out about this other person or was mere petty gossip. They found out about this other lady. They know that you have challenges with this lady and y'all are going through hurdles and misunderstandings. Yes, they are. Look, look, look. They understand. They understand that you're just trying to find peace and harmony. They understand that it's been illuminated to Taurus, okay, about this whole hardship and that you're in the crossroads of your life because this person might have put you out. <laughs> This person might have put you out and said, baby, your time is up. Give me back my key. Because they found out about that child with Taurus. <laughs> and that shit was eating at they motherfucking ass. And they put this bitch out. And they said, you will not anchor yourself to me. You will not anchor yourself to me. And they put this motherfucker out. They gave them their ring back. Ain't nothing but clouds, destruction, deception, and dismay, wherever this man goes. Now this person is coming to you, and they're expressing their love to you. They're trying to say, oh, I cut this person out. I'm not with that person no more. I want to work everything out with you. They're going to be very aggressive. Do you understand what I'm saying? They're going to be extremely aggressive with you because... They want to make their presence known. Do you understand? They're going to try to make it seem like, oh, it's fate. My intuition, the sun, stars, and the moon. And shit, we got a kid on the way. Don't you, listen. I can be a loyal companion. <laughs> this, this, is listen. This can be, we can have a healthy, committed relationship. Only thing we need to do is seclude ourselves from everywhere else. And it'll be everything that we ever wish for. All I want to do is be with you. <laughs> y'all be careful and yes I did just read that whole fucking deck out to y'all y'all welcome y'all motherfucking welcome y'all are goddamn welcome but I'm trying to tell y'all this person is a snake this motherfucker is a snake baby hmm. watch this motherfucker and you don't trust them this person got put out by their other baby mother balance totally off balance and this person is going to try to throw your life off balance but I don't think you going to let him because you said fool me once shame on you fool me twice I would look like a complete jackass and do I look like I come from the jackass fabric from the part of the market bitch the fuck bitch the fuck Bitch, look at me in my face clearly. Do I look like I come from the jackass section of the fucking store? I ain't think so. Yeah, get that shit out of here. You think you about to throw my life off the balance after everything that I've done, after everything that I've created. This Didn't I tell you? This person is looking for foundation and achievement because they don't have none. And they're coming to feed off of you. No. No. You think you think you about to come in? No, you're not. Papa was a rolling stone wherever he laid his hat. 
Ah, 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 this person is a snake. Don't make that mistake. Do not make that mistake. Let me give my Taurus some guidance and love. Mm -mm. What is this saying? Friendship. This person only looks at you as a friend. Nurture the bond of friendships within your relationships and your love life will dramatically improve. This person truly only looks at you as a friendship and they feel like if they come back around you, they really don't have any other choices. They don't have any place to go. They feel like if they nurture the bond of friendship within your relationship, that one day that they can grow to love you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But we all know this person. We all know that this person feeds off of attention. So as soon as someone else comes by to give them the gratification and the attention that they are so desperately seeking, what are they going to do? Oh, we're just friends. Hey, you, you have babies with people that you're just friends with? This person does. This is ridiculous. This person that Taurus, I know y'all are just like, listen, girl, y'all. Yeah. This motherfucker is ridiculous, y'all. Yeah. Y'all. Yeah. Y'all. Yeah. Or whoever this is, if you're dealing with a Taurus that, if you're dealing with a male Taurus and this is, this male Taurus for you is the carnivorous flower. And you're trying to figure out what's going on with his energy and why this person is coming back seeking attention and trying to seem like they're trying to... Because this person is acting like they want to start with friendship and want to go back to the drawing board and stuff like that. And y'all are like, uh, to guards, remove him. What is this? Fall. Fall. Hmm. 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 What's coming up this fall, y'all? Healing. Pause. <laughs> I got fifth dimensional. Communication in reverse, nostalgia, crossroads, and the commitment in the reverse. I know that's right. Y'all said fuck a year. Fuck a year. Okay? You guys said, listen, I'm enjoying my summer and then fall, I'm going to have it all. I'm going to complete and I'm going to finish my goddamn healing. Okay? I'm balanced and I'm good. This person thinks they're going to come back and throw me off balance. I tell you not because I already told you I ain't no goddamn fool. Didn't I already told you I ain't no goddamn fool? So what So what? y'all think that we, we was going to go through these cards or other decks or something was going to say something different? Taurus, stay on point, bitch. Listen, they going to put this motherfucker on permanent pause, okay? So I don't know what you was trying to come over here and say, what you was coming over here trying to achieve, bitch. But let me try to tell you, I get spiritual guidance on every fucking dimension that you can even goddamn think of. So before you even thought about coming, bitch, I was smelling you. Spirit was already telling me, listen, watch yourself. Watch yourself. This motherfucker is going to try to come around. What is this? And want communication? Blocked. Blocked. Okay? This person is trying to come back and trying to achieve foundation and uh, achievements off of your success. Off of your hard work. Blocked. Huh. They better go and look somewhere else. They're going to come back and talk about everything in the past. About how everything, how, you know, I loved you and our love was so strong. They still hold it on the old memories. Bitch, who told you to do that? Please do not let that keep you up in the goddamn crossroads. Because I sure didn't. Taurus is not in no goddamn crossroads holding on to no old motherfucking memories of what it should have could have, how things used to be, and how beautiful the roses were smelling when you first met them. Taurus don't. What? Bitch, you have problems with commitments. You got problems with commitment. And you already come to me. You're coming to me smelling like yesterday's news. Okay? My spirit guides warned me about you before you even... I, I ain't your friend. And we weren't never friends to begin with. So don't be trying to come over here with that bullshit. 
Get your dumb ass out of here. Get your dumb ass out of here. Mm, I just heard you make my skin itch. This person said, this person said, whoever this person is coming to to make their skin itch. I don't want to be your friend. Don't try to come to me like, oh, we can start as friends and then, well, you know, our love will grow over time. Who the fuck it won't? Who the fuck wants a friend like you? You just coming around trying to eat off the motherfuckers? Get the hell out of here. What is this? Blocked communication. Didn't I tell you? Blocked. Fuck out of my yard. Fuck. I'm going on about my life like I never met you. Like I never respected you. Okay? Like you weren't never in my life for me to ever have to regret you. The fuck? I just, it's like, it's like, Taurus is so good in where their life is going. They don't even give a fuck if they falling off a cliff right now. That's better than being with your dumb ass. They gives a zero fuck about you. Look at you looking at them. You see, look. They're like, where are you going? You going? We're somewhere without you. Somewhere to fuck without you. I ain't even worried about where I land as long as I'm not the fuck around you. Blocked communication like shit. Get your dumb ass out of here. Listen. Ain't even no point of you trying to pick up your stick. Listen, you can tell your little bitch over there on the side, ain't even no point of even trying to contact me, sis, because your man or your woman ain't here. Okay? So don't even put me in the lineup of bitches that you about to have competing and going through all this drama. I told you, I compete with nobody. I ain't even going to pick up a stick of communication or nothing with you. Okay? So you might want to go back to the drawing board and find somebody else to put up in this confusion. Because it damn sure ain't going to be me. It damn sure the fuck ain't going to be me. Okay? So listen. Look, you see how Taurus talking to her? Huh? Listen, I don't know what type of bullshit y'all used to and what type of shit y'all used to do. I ain't the one. Don't call my phone. Don't come around here. I compete with nothing or nobody. I don't want to hear nothing that you or none of your bitches don't bet. Now, nobody ever call me coming to me as no woman because I will punch you in your fucking face. Case closed. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Listen. Toys on the... Let me put these cards down. Let me put them down. Let me put these down. What is there to be confused about? What is there to be confused about? When you show me who you are, I believe you the first time. You have already showed me your line of treachery. You have already showed me that you are non-committal and you keep multiple. Bitch, you sound like an infection. An infection in anybody's life that you step into. You are an infection. You are a festering fucking sore that needs treatment. You need to go somewhere and get treatment. I don't know why you like to have so many people around you. But you're going to give somebody something one day. And let me tell you something. I learned a long motherfucking time ago what comes out of being in situations like this. You might have fooled me once, but you fooled me no more. I wish I would be a dumb bitch to entertain this shit. I just, I can't, I can't. You, I did not tell you this person is non-committal, whore-ass material. Ain't no truth, ain't no clarity, ain't no, it, it, look, listen, you was the if you was to ask this person, are you a girl or a boy? This person could be a boy. He'd be like, I don't know. This person just lie, just to lie. This person is unsure about they self. I, I just, I can't, I can't, I can't. And it's like Taurus is like, I don't even have to search for no truth to even figure out if this person got other people around. Bitch, I don't even, I don't, I don't even have to know that shit. I already know, I already know you for who you are. You can't try to convince me that you're anything other than what you've shown me in the past. So don't try to come around here and try to give me no lies and manipulation and try. No, 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 no. Go somewhere. Go somewhere. Because at the end of the day, you think that you're going to, you going to lose this time. You're going to lose this time. Last time, I hurt myself fucking around with you trying to work things out you going to lose this time fucking around with me so you better just go on ahead and put your swords down right now and just and, and just bow out gracefully 
go ahead and bow out gracefully because I don't want you to get your feelings hurt because this is someone that came around Taurus and thought that they was going to go for that regular old okie doke and got their fucking feelings hurt and got their feelings the fuck hurt you got blocked you got blocked number one you got blocked and I don't know if you guys seen each other somewhere and this person wanted to try to stop and talk to you and want to negotiate shit with you for what? For fucking what? Fuck out of here. Think I'm going to keep making the same stupid decisions? Fuck I go through all that shit with you the first time and, and, and not learn nothing. To learn not to fuck with you, please. I just, I can't with people. I can't. Taurus ain't going for this shit. Come on, Taurus. Fuck. Come on, Taurus. Mm-mm. And shout out to my baby, P. All right? Let me say Shout out to all my strong sisters out there that ain't gone for it, okay? Shout out to all my fucking <laughs> listen to me. What's my other baby from high school? I know she be watching me and shit like that. Oh my god, what's her name? Oh, I'm so sorry if I'm forgetting your name, baby. P and V, my baby V. V ain't goddamn mourning over this shit no more. They are like so over you. Like you are not even a memory. You're not even a thought in their mind. They, it's like, it's, oh my goodness. Like this person being over you. Like a complete non-factor. Like a complete non-factor in their life. What is it? 777. Rapid developments that come from challenging times. This person has already been through this shit with you. They've already withdrawn. <laughs> They've received all the wisdom and knowledge out of this situation that they needed to get. It honestly opened up their door to spirituality. It really did. You know what I'm saying? And if anything, that's 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 what they're thankful for. They're thankful that they're a praying woman, that they're a praying man, that they're faithful, that they're determined to want and be and do better. And because they have been determined for that, that's why they're so successful. That's why they've achieved and they've accomplished everything that they've accomplished. Ever since that they have not been dealing with you, their life has been nothing but on an uprise. Listen, their life has been nothing but peaceful ever since people like you are no longer in their courts. The type of people that they surround themselves with are nothing like this motherfucker. We don't feed off of people. We make money. We're billion dollar bitch club around here. We don't feed off of people. We fucking in, in, inspire other people to make millions like us. We want to inspire people to be fuck out of here. What are you talking about? Listen, ain't nothing but favorable luck coming into our life. We wish we would sit over here and cry over a fuck nigga or a stupid ass motherfucker. Please. Please, I wish tours would ever. I wish tours would the fuck ever. Last spread, and we the fuck up out of here. Cause tours said this is listen. This was an easy goddamn conversation, name. Okay, Reds, this was an easy conversation. What this person wanted to come here and get read down for filth today? Is that what they wanted to do? Okay, listen. They said Reds got my back. Reds got my back. I ain't even got to say too much. Reds got it. What she say? Load up the cat. Load up the cat. Give me my last. Listen, speak now or forever. Hold your peace. Four cups. Whatever offer that is coming through from this person, just know it's going to be denied on arrival. Um, Taurus is not interested in you. They are very bored with you and they are very aware of who you are. And make no mistake. Ain't no drunken love, bitch. You ain't even that motherfucker interesting for me to want to pick up a fucking cup. Next. Huh. Nine of motherfucking swords. That mental misery... You're a fucking headache. You're a walking, talking, jackass form of a headache. Why would they ever? Why? Next. What is this? Knight of Wands. You can come over here passionate and send all these little nasty notes. Oh, you look good. I know I look good, bitch. And? Death card. Bye. Next case. Anyway. You guys, Taurus, this has been your reading. I'm sorry that you don't have to came down and read these motherfuckers down for filth like that. This is a goddamn shame. If this video resonated with y'all, y'all click that like button. Okay? Tuh, tuh, tuh. Taurus, tell them, tuh, facts. Find another one. Bye.